out there. So uh, we're actually in the kitchen. I thought I'd make a video because I haven't made one in absolutely ages. So it's not going to make up some burgers of some sort. Um, I've got all my ingredients. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but yeah, so burgers, dinner, om nom nom. Awesome. You'll be able to see my face during this. I was just trying to fiddle with the camera there a wee bit. Uh, so what I've done here is I've chopped some ingredients. So I'm just going to show you around my ingredients here. So I'm going to just crank you up and flip you around so you can see my ingredients. All right. All right. So what we have for this burger is I have some loudly pork mince. Uh, we have some nice treats here, which I've just finally chopped there. I've, I've pre-chopped all my ingredients. I need that's half. Right. So we've got half of a small onion. We've got some garlic. Now I've got this garlic out of a nice frozen packet. So I'm not quite sure how many cloves that is, but it's it's really good to buy it that way and keep it really fresh and tastes really good. We have some paprika, a bit of sage. Uh, we've got some goat cheese, and I'll show you what I'm doing with that in a minute. Uh, standard salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil, and some chula chili garlic sauce, um, chili garlic mayo, and salsa for the buns. And speaking of buns, here are mine. Um, so I've just got some wee white flat rolls that I've just bought from down the road to go in there. So uh, I'll be back in two seconds and we'll start mixing it, eh? Alright, so I have zoomed you in right on this camera here. I might need to zoom you back. Hold on. Let's move you back a wee touch. Let's move you back a wee touch. Yeah. Yes, that should be better. That should be better. I can actually get into the bowl here. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mints. And I've frosted this already. Don't worry, I have washed my hands. You didn't see me do that, but I've washed my hands already. What I'm going to do is just take the paper off that. And that's all just going to go in there. Lovely, jubbly. That's a bit of mince. You are going to use your hands for this. Um, just to get your patty in. Right, I'm going to chuck that onion in. Chuck the onion and the garlic in there. And chuck all of our ingredients in here. Like that. Not like that, like that. So just throwing all of that in here. things on the worktop. Just working that in, working that all in there. Oh, that's cold. Right, so I'm just going to add my olive oil in. I should probably wipe my hand in between, but I'll clean it off afterwards. Honest, honest. I'm just going to put that in just have that to blind a wee bit. Bobs, I'm just going to go get the wee piece of kitchen towel. Just a bit of sage in there. We've got 
the mobs from Battle Server. That's fine, don't worry about me. Have we got any ground fennel? Fennel seeds? Have we got any ground fennel? So hopefully that should mind all nicely. Hello! So that hopefully that should just keep it nice and bound together. And I'm doing this chic. Shall we get some of that liquid to go through to the bottom of that? Nice patty about that size, see if you can see that. Yeah, nice patty there, eh? So we've just made up our patty. Now what we're gonna do with our patty is we're just gonna I haven't got any fancy mallets or anything, so yeah, a bit of hand. For about the size of our rolls. So I'm just going to whip one of those out very quick. So we want about that size. That should be about right, maybe a wee touch more in there. Right. Right, that should be perfect. That looks good. Right, so we'll make it a bit rounder in a second. To wipe off again. So what we're gonna do is we take some of the goat cheese. Use any cheese you like really. And we're gonna stack this into the middle of the platter here. So I'm just gonna you could probably be better with if you grated it for this I've just decided to do it this way. Take those and replace them in the middle of our patty. Turn you off now, I'm going to make the other three and then I'll show you when I shove them in the pan, alright? Job done. Alright there guys, sorry I'm behind you now. Um, um, here are three we made earlier, so that's three nice, big, regular, fairly normal sized patties. And what we've got in the pan there is, I bought a wheat packet of this circular chorizo, um, which is quite good, it was just, just about a pound, which is why I got it. Um, so we've got some of that chopped into there and we also got it in the pan. Now the good thing about chorizo is that when you're cooking with it, you don't need any oil because it's got a lot of oil on it. It's just going to get that nice paprika, smoke and garlic flavour just singing through the burger as we cook it. Stove on there. Mm 
The only other thing that I would quite like to add to this sub, if I were to do it again, would be probably um, a wee bit of sub, uh, What was I going to say? Sorry, my brain just totally left me there. So, get that cook in there. Get that cook in there. I don't really want to cook the sweets because it's already cooked. I just want to get that flavour down. Push that around. Get heated up nicely, ready for those burgers to just drop into them. done there off the camera is I have just popped my chorizo off, just stick a wee bit of oil on there just to <coughs> and we're going to take one patty, just going to put sugar all to do this actually on a, on a proper barbecue um, grill of some sort. Um, so I'm just gonna... Now, the size of these burgers with the pan means I'm going to have to put them off to put them in. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so we're cooking nicely there. Eh? So you can see all that nice onion and the garlic all oh, sitting there beautifully. So it's just starting to cook away at that edge there. It's just wow. um, So, up until it should be that cooked on that side. Let's give it a flip. One, two, three. They're all kind of cooked through. Sorry, I'll put you on my face now. Hey, hello! Um, so once they're all kind of cooked through, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the buns, toast them in all the oil that we've had the burgers in, and we're going to then I'll see you again when we start making them. Just about ready. Right, guys. So that's the burgers nicely cooked. There, you see them. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to flip these off onto my plate here. Um, that chorizo that we had earlier. There's a couple of wee bits there. So we want to keep all of that juice. Could you cut my rolls for me quick? We kind of need the nowish. I forgot to. Where are they? They're just over here. Take 
So garlic burger. You just press the red button there, and that's us all done. 